Hello and welcome to Pause and Prosper by Canine Care Hub, your podcast to help you pause and work on an aspect in your business that is going to help you prosper. Proven from my decade of experience helping small independent business owners, I'm bringing all of my knowledge back to my original niche you the dog pet professionals because as a dog groomer dog trainer myself being able to really make your business thrive and helping more people avoid burnout and create more joy profit and fulfillment in their business is where my bag is at previously the podcast was called monday night pause but i was struggling to get on on a monday so we've just renamed it for that reason so all the great content and I can't wait to answer some of the questions that have been sent in by my community but first of all today what I would like to focus on is knowing your why now if you've ever tuned in to Simon Sinek's renowned TED talk on YouTube you'll be quite familiar with this concept and his impactful statement which say that people don't buy what you do they buy why you do it. And you know what? Canine professionals are a perfect example of this. Typically, we're all in this because we love dogs. We want to serve dogs. We want to be around them. We want to have the best quality of life that we can have. So the passion behind why we're doing what we're doing is usually quite prevalent particularly at the beginning. As your business progresses, it's easy to lose focus on why we got set up in the first place. And actually having a why and actually having it written down as something that you look at regularly within your business on like a 90 day reset day, for example, is because I remember in my speaker training, we were taught facts tell, stories sell. And actually the more that you know your why, the more that the audience can engage with you, they are able to empathize with you and engage with your story and engage with the process so therefore you can serve more dogs so knowing your why isn't just handy for a nice to have and to help lift you up which is fantastic in it in and of itself but actually your why is is your story it's where your values beliefs and motivations originate from and it's what drives your actions and it's through your beliefs and your actions that your clients perceive and base their opinion on whether they're going to choose you as their canine professional or not so i teach this a lot and when i go and facilitate the 90 day resets this is something that i always make sure is really strong within a business and have you ever heard of a mission statement you probably have right so mission statements is very corporate in my opinion And there's actually three different types of statements that you can create for your business that helps you share your why. And it's really important that I share at this point that your why is personal to you. You do not have to make your statement something that is out in the public. A lot of people create these statements because they think they're called buzzwords and they'll attract clients in, you know, because they live with integrity or, or whatever it is. This is a personal journey for you. And when you create this, I want you to not think about your clients at all. I want you to really think what lights you up, what drives you, and what moves you forwards. And there's actually three different ways in which you can base this why statement for your business. And actually looking at the etymology of each word is important. So the three words are your purpose statement, your mission statement, or your passion statement. So the term purpose is defined as your reason for living. A mission statement is what you would die for. Um, and then your passion statement is what lights you up. It stirs something within you and it drives you forward with little force or effort. I love the idea of a passion statement myself. I find mission statement a bit too hardcore when it comes to canine businesses. What we would die for, I would die for this dog room. I mean, and if you are that passionate about it and that's what really lands with you then yeah create a mission statement but in my one page business plan called a wag sheet yes a little uh, dog analogy all of my tools that support you with your business do have dog analogies with them we put it down as the passion statement what lights you up what brings you forwards and your why is your reason and understanding and embracing the reason why you're doing the things that you do not only shapes how you interact with dogs and the owners but also influences how you approach your entire work if the wheels are coming off at the moment for you and your business start with why 
go back to the emotional reason why you want to do this in the first instance. Like, I just want to help dogs and I can do that by helping you. And by helping you find the reason why you do what you do, we are going to, as a community, raise a bar, move forwards and attract the dogs that are right to us in our business and have you happy, which is all I want for you in this world. So this is an inward facing tool. And there is actually a prompt sheet to help you answer the questions. I will ask my team to post the sheet below after this is done. But I'm going to read them out to you. So if you're here listening to this on replay, get your pen and paper out now and let's work through them. This is also something that I'm going to be working on in my four day summit happening next week to help you get more clarity and focus when it comes to marketing your business. But let's get going. Let's treat and heal animals. Why was that important to you? Number two, because I don't want I don't want animals to suffer because dogs bring us joy. Um, three, why haven't you given up so far? Business is hard and you're on a journey right now. But what keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? in the hard times. Four, what does your business do? This sounds really daft, but pretend you're explaining it to a five-year-old. How simply can you explain what you do? This is important when you think about messaging future. When we talk about advertising later, when you join my summit next week, yeah, this will be really important. So I really love doing this exercise with the vet physios that are part of our community because they go, yeah, I'm a physio. And you're like, yeah, but what does that mean? And then, but how? Do, but what does that mean? Like go as, as simplified as you possibly could to explain how you do what you do. Number five, why is it important to you? So if you're a vet physio that uses a hands-on method to be able to heal animals, why is that method important to you? And finally, why do you want to have an impact in that area? It might be that you pause this and answer them and take yourself a bit more time. But Pause and Prosper is just my quick insight to you here at Canine Care Hub to give you something to think about in the weeks ahead. And the answers to those questions are how you're gonna create your passion statement. So um, I recently did this live on a call and one of the clients that did it with me is called Lindsay. She's a vet physio and she said, oh no, she's a canine masseuse. She said, I want to improve the quality of life of animals. I want them to be pain free and as comfortable as possible to enjoy their lives with their owners beautiful right mine here at canine care hub is we take the pain and stress out of running profitable successful and fulfilling canine businesses so that canine professionals can focus on improving the lives of dogs in their care and then one of my like a corporate one that's done really well and that i have a lot of respect for is we want to see all dogs wherever they are living live full safe and happy lives dogs trust so your statement needs to align with you personally when you read your statement it should bring something up in you oftentimes when people teach us they say it should make you cry i'm not kind of that deep i don't uh, well up that often but it should hit you in the feels it should hit you in your heart so have fun creating your why statements if you're having a challenge right now go back to your why we are built to be happy strong and healthy the rest is unnecessary so whenever we're struggling go back to your why go back to your reasons and they will drive your actions and move you forwards and if you're having any challenges with this there's a link underneath this live um book a call with me i would love to serve you and help you create that it's one of my favorite things to do this is pause and prosper i'm elizabeth hack and we are canine care hub thank you for your service to dogs and i will see you next time